Solar eclipses happen about once a year somewhere on the globe, but it's rare in the United States to see them clearly. The last one to happen here was in 2017. The next one arrives Monday, and the Bay Area will be able to see part of it. Here in San Francisco, it's only going to be covering up about one-third of the sun. But other places in the United States, Texas or Missouri, the sun will be completely blocked for a few minutes by the moon. The path of totality will extend from parts of Mexico to Texas and all the way up to Maine. For those who will experience a total eclipse, experts warn it can be disorienting. Basically, day becomes night over a very short period of time. Uh, it's amazing. You'll actually hear animals uh, respond by uh, birds starting to, to behave as if it's nighttime. For those wanting to watch the partial eclipse with some guidance, both the San Francisco Exploratorium and Academy of Sciences will be hosting viewing events. And for those who want to watch at home or wherever you are, it'll begin about 10 a.m. Monday morning with the height of the event happening about 11.15. But watching it safely will take a little work. If you're trying to get specialized glasses to watch the solar eclipse on Monday, there are some precautions you should take before ordering online, or you can just go to certain outlets in person to get them. Wherever you acquire your glasses, you should look for a little ISO uh, rating, uh, which is basically an indication that this is uh, uh, designed for observing the sun. That ISO rating should be 12312-2, which is very dark. If you put them on in a regularly lit room and can see anything, they're not dark enough. Like Don't use the them. Some retailers are still selling viewing kits that have a few pairs of glasses in them, and the San Francisco Public Library and its branches are handing them out as well. In San Francisco, Sergio Quintana, NBC, Bay Area News.